Well, we pulled over because we uh, needed a break from the hill, the mountain. Eagle Mine. Wow. Oh. See how high it is here? But down there, it's like yeah. 100 feet high. Yeah, way up there. It's very cool. I mean, what the heck is it there? It's like wooden things. Pretty. Yeah, it looks like that. See how high it's over there. It's like. Oh, there's the river. Way over there. Wow, it's really beautiful up here. But that pass is nothing like I've ever been on. That was really insane and beautiful. Scotty's going to back up. Anyways, we're going to go up here and scout it out. Jimmy's waiting back there with, for Mick and Colleen because they um, had to stop at the grocery store and get a few things. So we, oh, there's a camper down there. There's a camper. I don't know how they got down there. This there's is, a road right there. They I got know, way down there. <laughs> but I don't know if I want to go down that. No. Okay. No, we don't want to yeah. go down okay. there. It's a really steep hill. Yeah, I'm not. Um, Okay, so we're going to scout it out up here, then we're going to go back and tell them, tell Jimmy if we found anything, and then we'll wait for Mick and Colleen when they get there, and then we'll go down if we can find something. So, all right, turn you guys around. Wow, that's really pretty around there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I, do we want to encroach on them? But we went a long ways. <laughs> we went a really long ways. Somebody's getting a new roof. Alright, well we didn't find anything down here scouting around, so we'll just head back.
Well, we tried on this road here on the Colorado River. So we're gonna go back out here, try to catch Colleen and Mick before they come down the road, and because it's five miles back here, catch them, and we're just gonna keep on heading down the road. So heading gonna, west, taking you guys along on the journey. <laughs> you don't smell the river? A little. I grew up in a river town. This is what it smelled like. Kind of. Oh, Scotty, like cool. look at all the nests under the bridge. Yeah. There's a one little cloud. Oh yeah. All right. Well, we've got a man that is down over here. The gentleman in the green came over to Scotty and asked us to call 911. He was afraid to call. And this gentleman is diabetic. He is fallen down. And he's Scotty's got CPR training of over 20 years. And he went over to assist him, called 911. And, uh,. Boy, I tell you what, I am praying, praying, praying for this gentleman. Well, boy, that's scary. All the years of Scotty having CPR is uh, a nice feeling to know that he can assist someone I've had. CPR training, but I haven't had it for quite a while, so I should probably get that updated. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I'm kind of shaking, so I just, uh, this is part of, sometimes when you're traveling, you see things like this, unfortunately, so just keep this gentleman in your prayers or your good thoughts, please. And all that training that I hated to go to every two years kind of kicks in, I guess. Well, I didn't have to do anything other than I just kind of knew to keep him calm and what what to watch for and stuff so I think he's diabetic he looks very much dehydrated yeah the uh, gentleman in the green said he brought him food and water last night but he wasn't uh, didn't take his shot early enough or something uh, but that's probably what it was uh, well luckily the paramedics got here pretty fast within five minutes yeah. so good deal well, this is by far not the worst thing today. That poor gentleman, they do have him in the ambulance and they're taking him to the hospital. So, um, anyways, I jumped out of the our, uh, camper to uh, give 911 a little bit better description of what was going on while Scotty was over there. And I stepped on my glasses. <laughs> this one was, oh, yeah, you guys can see, blew my lens out, so off to the store to buy new glasses today or I won't be able to edit or do anything. How you doing, honey? Fine. Get your adrenaline going a little? Oh, no. You did very well. I very. guess all those times, like I said, are going to the CPR classes. Yeah. It's not a bad thing to know. No. That's for sure. I was just telling them I need to go renew mine, for sure. <laughs> you don't really think about it, but it comes in handy and Hopefully the gentleman will be okay. I'm sure he will. Good man. Yes. All right, guys. So what we're doing today is Scott and I and Jimmy came down here, and we're at the boat launch, and we just came down to find a nice, cool place to sit. And it's it's actually not a boat launch anymore. It's, it it says boat launch, but they've got big rocks right here, so you can't even get a boat in there. Do you guys see all the birds? There are hundreds of birds nests up under there. The birds have just been flying all day. Anyways, our plan is to go up to some falls this, later on this afternoon and check those out. And then find somewhere to spend the night here in this little town. We are in the town of, uh, I know I'm going to pronounce it wrong. Uh, it's R-I-F-L-E, Riffle, Rifle. Um, just, I want to say we're about an hour from the Utah border. So this is where we stayed. La we didn't stay here last night. We stayed at Walmart last night, of course, because there's no uh, BLM land 
in this little area but it's very pretty right here so we'll sit here for a little bit longer today and then we will head out and we'll take you guys with us be well